With overdose deaths on the rise, the especially in the Bronx, there were 400 a this public health emergency by the White House. Opioid addiction. Back when I was younger, it was a lot of criminal activity, gang activity, guns, violence, burning buildings, you know, the, the, the slum and the, the abandoned buildings and all that. You know, this area has been a hub for drug use and criminal activity for a very long time. Actually, it started when they closed the hole back here. Right behind this building was the hole back there. It was an abandoned subway station. A lot of people were living there, homeless people, uh, a lot of drug users. And the place was full of syringes, the ground, like thousands and thousands of syringes. And they pulled everybody out. So all the homeless people transitioned out into St. Mary's Park, this area right here in uh, Patterson Playground nearby. The community at large from the Patterson projects and the schools in this area, uh, Lincoln Hospital is only a block and a, a, a half away, um, were, were asking for help. Acacia Network did a very big town hall meeting about a year ago. So we decided that we would create two task force, one on opium, one on homelessness to try to affect both of the crises that were hitting the Bronx very hard. The city, the state agencies, we brought them all together and the elected officials and especially a Councilman Salamanca who quickly joined us and eventually put some money through the city council to support the task force. We all got together and we visualized and envisioned a plan to develop a collaborative and attack and fight back, you know, in a humanely way to help as many people as we can as possible uh, instead of incarceration. It, it takes a, col a collective, which is basically multiple agencies and multiple personnel and different fields. We're talking about government, we're talking about education, we're talking about medical facilities, we're talking about everybody collectively getting into clergy, everybody trying to pitch in and trying to find the solution to a problem that's killing far too many people on a daily basis. The collective um, selected that area on College and 148th Street as our first um, location to begin to do the outreach efforts. And what we started noticing about a year ago was that they were sleeping in the parks, they were using the heroin and dumping the needles on the ground. But as the Department of Health and the Parks Department got together, they developed a plan to create kiosks. It was a metal case that was planted in the parks, in the playgrounds for the individuals who were using the heroin and shooting up to dump the needles inside the kiosk so we can eliminate the needles from being dumped on the ground. You have to meet the problem head on. And one of the things that Acacia Network does is it doesn't shy away of being a trailblazer in, in problem solving. So, you know, we put a table out there with information, um, and we engage with, with the folks that are out there in need of help. So we give out sandwiches, which is an engagement tool, and we sit them down and we show them compassion. We show them that people care. I was, uh, I've been homeless since I was 16. I got kicked out of my house. I was living in Long Island. They don't have methadone programs and help like they do out here, so I came out here to try to get the help. I wish there was someone like me young, when I was younger, like, come on, man, let's go play in the park or do something, you know what I mean, have fun or, you know what I mean, like that. Really guide them? Guide them, yeah. But like, if I was younger and I had someone like, yo, come on, let's go do this, instead of go, let's go do drugs, like. Well. The first thing is understanding what substance use is. You know, someone that has a substance use disorder is that is a disorder. It's not something that you know we can change automatically. 
you know, we, and it also carries a mental health um, background. So we have to be more educated in the fact that it is a substance use disorder and there's many ways to combat it, many ways to help these individuals. Let's get them into treatment, let's get them into primary care, mental health services. But we cannot turn a blind eye that this is in fact a disorder. You know, but one thing I do know that works is peers. The, the connection between somebody that's been through it and sees that person that's actually doing it, we can help each other out. I'm able to tell them I've been there where you're at. You know, I, I, I intravenously used drugs for about 15 years. I was on methadone for eight years. Um, and then in, um, in, in October 1990, somebody like me came to me and says, sit down, let me listen to you, uh, let, me, let me help you. It's more love and concern. It's about meeting them where they're at and telling them that we're gonna be there every week with information, with a sandwich, but not only that, with a listening ear. And once you engage folks like that and you build a rapport with them, they begin to open up to you and tell them their, they tell you their plight and their story and what they're going through. And then me, as a, as a, as a person with the resources, um, I bring them in. I bring them into the clinic. I walk them over to the clinic. If they want to go to a detox, I make the phone call to the, the detox driver to pick them up so they can feel like I wasn't just listening to them talking and not care. To get them to a, a warm place where they can see a little bit of light of hope. Damien, my dream I'd love to be a writer. My name is Anna Ortiz. I've been clean for a while, and that's my dream, just to stay clean and to help my people. My name is Willie Lopez from Puerto Rico, Rio Piedra. My dream is to have people in high places that can help the community. My name is China Baker, I'm originally from Chicago, Illinois. My dream is to become a successful peer worker, you know, to help people. My name is Axel Jamire, I'm de Bayamón, Puerto Rico. Este, estoy en Estados Unidos porque perdí toda mi familia. My name is Jacqueline Roman. I'm from New York City. My dream is to be able to open up my own harm reduction organization. <laughs>